WTWO Sports with Sports Director Grant Pugh. Good evening, everyone. Happy Tuesday. We were less than a month away to the 19th annual first financial Wabash Valley Classic. Today, the draw luncheon. So let's find out our day one matchup. South hosting this year. Annual luncheon taking place this morning at the Terre Haute South Auxiliary Gym. Indiana State head coach Greg Lansing, the guest speaker of the season. Second is fresh off that win against Western. He knows how important this tourney means to so many. Let's show you the bracket. 10 a.m. December 26th, game one. Shackamack against Marshall. So 9 a.m. Central time there. About the Lakers and Lions. Game number two of the top part of the bracket. The Casey Westfield Warriors against the Linton Miners. What a matchup that's going to be. Two of the heavy hitters in that part at 12:30. Let's hear from these four head coaches. Happy to be here. Play against great competition, great coaches, and you know, hopefully learn some things that can get together as a team, have long days as a unit, and uh, it's, it's, there's nothing better than call day tournament. So I'm really excited about that. We played Linton Stock in the summertime, and it was a war. I mean, in a I got tons of respect for Coach, Coach Hart. Very good team. Uh, felt like they were one of the tournament favorites along with Edgewood, you know, right away. And so, you know, we'll have to be ready to play. Moving on to the top part of the bracket, it's Cloverdale and South for me and squaring off in game number. How about that one? 1 p.m. on day one. 2.30, which rounds out the top part. It's Riverton Park against Sullivan. Let's check in with these four coaches. Top, bra pat, top part of the bracket is done. It's a game uh, that, uh, that we've got to be ready to go right from the tip uh, opening game. So uh, I think fans will like it. It'll be a great match. It's a really good draw for us. I mean, I think that they uh, present a lot of challenges. And to get a play that ball and see in the team, we'll be good. This is the fourth year of the head coach, and the term will play twice. So, you know, it'll be a little bit of uh, uh, remembrance from the last time. It is the best high school basketball tournament in the state uh, over the holidays. And, uh, our kids love it. I mean, there's no practice. All you do is play. Now the bottom part of the bracket. How about the host school, Terre Haute South, tipping off with county rival West Vigo, day number one at four. Right after that, Robinson against Owen Valley, games five and six set. Let's hear from these coaches. It's always fun going against your uh, in-town rival, so uh, what a better way to start than going against West Vigo at 4 o'clock on the day after Christmas. So, afternoon game, day after Christmas. We're expecting a big crowd. I would expect to see a big crowd for that game. Really excited to be in the tournament again. Day one is always a pretty exciting day. You, know, you get, uh, get a chance to go over and watch any basketball games and, and uh, see some pretty good basketball coaches and some pretty good basketball players play. Final two games of day number one. It's Park Heritage against last year's champion Edgewood, 7 p.m. on the night of the 26th, and two rival schools, North and Northview, at 8.30 p.m. The best thing about this, we don't have to get up at the crack of dawn and, and come play. Last year we were 10 o'clock all three days, so this time we at least get to maybe actually go through a normal game day routine. And like you said, it can be three, four days of uh, grueling basketball, and you find out a lot about your kids. And the thing about high school basketball when you're dealing with 14 to 18 year olds, especially when you're getting a packed crowd, is anything can happen on any given night. This is a mental toughness thing, which is good for us, especially when you're young. You really got to kind of see what you're made of early on in this basketball. That's a wrap for sports. We're back after this.